What's going on, guys? Um, I just wanted to make this quick video. I'm actually streaming it right now. It's going to go up on YouTube, so you can check out the VODs on Twitch. You can check out the VODs on YouTube. Whatever you want to do. Um, yesterday, I made a video, and I posted it right before the, the unbanning announcement uh, in Modern. And I talked about how I felt like it was safe for Jace and, and Bloodbraid Elf to come off. And I felt like if one of them comes off, the other one should as well. Because they're kind of... They're counters to one another, you know? Um, woke up this morning... It's not even 11 a.m. yet, which is the the time that the Wizards articles go live, and already we have figured out that both Jace the Mind Sculptor and Bloodbraid Elf have been unbanned in Modern. I'm beside myself right now. I have no idea what to say. This is I, it, this feels Modern has just taken a step towards feeling like more like Legacy uh, than Modern right now, which is amazing to me. Um, I I this this I don't think this video is going to be as um, well thought out as I'd like it to be because I'm literally just overtaken with emotion, which is why I wanted to record right now because I think this is such an amazing choice and I think it's great for modern. And you know what? If it's not, if it ends up being a mistake, we ban them again. It's really a simple solution. Um, but right now, everything you look at in the, in the modern format has to be in, in the context of having Jace, the mind sculptor legal and having blood braid elf legal. And it's unbelievable to me because that is an entirely different metagame. That is an entirely different format, basically. The fact that you have Jace the Mind Sculptor legal in Modern, that's a different format than Modern was yesterday. The fact that I could put Jace the Mind Sculptor in my Modern decks now. Or Bloodbraid Elf, even. I'm not even a huge Bloodbraid Elf fan because that dude has caused me a lot of heartache, but that's fine. I, I respect it. I think it's a fantastic card. And now you can figure out what you're, what you're cascading into with that dude. Whew. Whew. What a roller coaster, man. This is amazing. What a time to be alive. Jace the Mind Sculptor in Modern. I can't even handle it. I have three Jaces. I, I didn't get the fourth because I was like, you know what? It's probably never getting unbanned in Modern. And I slowly got one after, after another just in case. You know, I was like, you know, I'm going to have four just in case this happens. I only got three and hopefully that'll be enough. And hopefully I'm not like... Super hard pressed to need a fourth Jace. I don't think the format. I don't think modern is a format where uh, you're gonna put four Jaces in a deck. I just don't think that's realistic. But um, guys, it is a it is a brand new day. It is a brand new day. Yeah, there were no bans. Nothing was banned. Um, and and their their description. You can check out the article on the mothership right now. The the their their explanation for it was that. Uh, modern has evolved in such a way that, you know, instead of banning cards from the top performing decks from the Pro Tour or from the Grand Prix, they'll just unban some cards and give you more options. And they also mention how uh, the top the top decks in the format, um, like, let me at least if I can find it real quick. Uh, I'll just do a control. I know what I'm looking for. Humans, Affinity, Burn, and Tron. Uh, none of them are likely to adopt cards like Jace the Mind Sculptor and Bloodbraid Elf. So neither of these cards make some of the best decks in the format better. So... If you love playing Tron, you're, you're good. If you love playing Affinity, you're good. If you love playing all of these other decks, humans, you're good. You don't have to buy more cards for your decks. And you also don't have to worry about your decks changing, That's, which is great. Unbanning is such a better choice than banning cards because banning cards invalidates your deck, right? So, hey, I was playing Tron. You ban this one card. It makes Tron almost impossible to play. Now I can't play my Tron deck. Hey, I'm, I love playing Tron. You unban Jason the Mind Sculptor. It affects me in no way, shape, or form. Cool. I mean... At worst, you'll have to adjust some sideboard options to accommodate these new cards, but that's such a smaller thing than actually having your entire modern deck invalidated. And modern is an expensive format, let's be honest. <sighs> guys, I would love to hear your thoughts uh, in the comments. If you guys are watching this on Twitch, feel free to check out the YouTube uh, video when it goes up and let me know what your thoughts are because boy, boy, oh boy, this is an amazing uh, revelation for modern. This is, this is un... I, I, I want to say it's unprecedented because really Jace and Bloodbraid Elf have never been legal in the format. Um, as far as I know, was Bloodbraid Elf legal at the beginning and then banned? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure they were banned at the start. Maybe. But yeah, and also it's worth noting that Jace is being released in the uh, 25th anniversary set. Uh, he's on one of the booster, the booster arts, so it's definitely worth noting that. Um... Wow. Bloodbraid Elf was legal. Okay, so Bloodbraid Elf was legal at some point, but I, I, I'm more interested in Jace anyway. Jace being legal in Modern is unprecedented, and that is unbelievable right now. I, um... 
Uh, yeah, and, and so so Alexis was in the chat right now saying, unbanning Jace doesn't make people spend 300 400 for a playset. I mean, if you want to play Jace, yes, maybe you'll pay that much. If you don't, you don't have to. No one's making you. I. Uh... All right, so anyway, um, like we said yesterday, uh, you're playing a format where, you know, Affinity... Is is ha, ha, doesn't care about Jace. Why does why why does Jace brainstorming? You pay four mana for Jace, you brainstorm. Why does your affinity opponent ever care about that? Why does your Tron opponent who played a Karn the turn before ever care about that? It, it doesn't. I I think it's going to be fine. I, I have no fear of Jace right now in in modern. And if you're talking about Jace being three hundred to four hundred dollars a playset, I mean I think you should take a look at the Tarmogoyfs and and the Karns and the Lilianas that are already in your trade binder. So. I think I think you're overreacting because you don't want to like it, and uh, I think the sooner you embrace our new four mana overlords, the happier you will be. Those those are my thoughts, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. I'll be back later this afternoon for some drafts, and uh, I'll see you then.